geoglyphs, all the written records and the, the stones, I believe the stones are crying out. I believe that obviously beyond just the, the alien caricatures or the uh, uh, lizard people or whatever, there's even a bigger story to tell. So, but, in, And Steve, uh, um, not to interrupt you. No, please one interrupt th me. One thing we should <laughs> clarify, though, for our listening audience is that we believe that there is a biblical Yes, evidence sir. that support what these uh, indigenous peoples and others have reported around the world, even the fact that the earth is dynamic, that there are things that exist beneath the earth. Jesus doesn't bat an eye when he says to his disciples, there was a rich man and a, and a man named Lazarus, and they go down into the belly of the earth. He tells his disciples he's going to go there like Jonah did. So, so what you have is a corroboration around the world of different people from different worldviews, but who all told exactly the same story mm -hmm. about the gates of the earth that opened, the giants that arrived, that God sent a great flood. So we, we Christians uh, find that that story that's in the Old Testament is supported around the world. Mm. We just need to take a quick break here, but uh, when we come back we want to talk about why the Vatican is uh, paying such attention to these underground tunnels and this network uh, that stretches around the planet. Are they strategically positioning themselves to defend the earth or is there something else at work here? Our conversation with Steve Quayle about True Legends, The Unholy Sea continues next on Skywatch TV. In 2012, they shocked the international community when they predicted the resignation of Pope Benedict one year in advance. Breaking news, Pope Benedict XVI announces his resignation. Yeah, it is the first time in centuries a pope has stepped down. And I knew Pope Benedict was going to step down April 2012. Leaving the world wondering just who their insider at the Vatican really was. In 2013, they exposed the mysteries of Mount Graham, the Lucifer device. This first station is an instrument called Lucifer. And the Vatican's secret plan for the arrival of an alien savior. Then in 2015, they took the world underground to uncover the truth behind the Native American legends of giants, the portals they once came through and the most overlooked aspect of end times prophecy regarding their return. Now, in their final entry to the explosive four-year investigation, internationally acclaimed best-selling authors Thomas Horn and Chris Putnam unveil their greatest discovery and make their most astonishing prediction yet involving the imminent prophesied arrival of a mysterious final Roman Emperor. At that time, the Prince of Injustice, who will be called the Antichrist, will rise. He will be the son of perdition and the culmination of pride. He will deceive many, but when the Roman Empire will fall, then the Antichrist will show himself, and he will sit in the house of God in Jerusalem. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Thomas Horn, Chris Putnam. This will be the final entry and the greatest prediction yet, coming May 2016. The final Roman Emperor, the Islamic Antichrist, and the Vatican's last crusade. Uh -huh. 
I want to remind you that Skywatch TV has exclusive online content, interviews, and discussions that we just can't fit into our weekly broadcast schedule. Make sure you log on to skywatchtv.com to find those. Uh, we're continuing our conversation with Steve Quayle, Tom Horn, about the True Legends documentary series, entry number two, The Unholy Sea. We're talking about the uh, underground network of tunnels, what you call the Cyclopean uh, architecture, underground Cyclopean empire. Well, what is the interest of the Roman Catholic Church here? Are they just trying to block the entrances to prevent these things from coming through, or is there something else at work here? Well, there's something, uh, and that's, that's a very astute question, really an important question. The great Mesoamerican empires, and by the way, they all identify that they were founded by giants coming from the east, white giants. Hmm. Now, that's critical for a couple reasons. There were no metal tools. There was no technology that either the Aztecs, the Mayans or the Incans possessed that could account for the structures. These structures couldn't even be moved, the stone structures. We're talking places like Puma Punko. Puma Punko, yeah. uh, Ojante Tambo. If you go to uh, Bulgaria, Romania. Interestingly enough, uh, we'll, we'll find it out and we'll give it uh, you know, as a title, but the Romanian, if you will, in Romania, and th this will be, we're headed that way, so I'm, I'm kind of given another one of those yeah. things. By the way, my wife said, you don't keep secrets very well. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I want to give everybody the bottom line. <laughs> I got this guy here, oh. the bottom line, and work backwards. But the point is, is that the, one of the biggest buildings in the world is like the Romanian parliament, and I can't speak Romanian, but it's, it's, a, it's a huge building. The tunnel system that that sits over okay, was absolutely, uh, how do I say this, sanctioned uh, by the government that even the United States government was paying them off not to tell the world, even under Sosescu, what was underneath those tunnels in Bulgaria. Hmm. And as big as the megaliths are, the giant stone structures, uh, we interviewed Anson P. Rambla, one of the most famous South American lettered archaeologists who had the permission of the Peruvian government, had the permission of the Catholic Church to go into the Shinkana. That's what the, the Spanish word, or not Spanish, actually it's a derivation, into the tunnel system. And with Anselm uh, talking to Tim, and, and it's in Spanish, but to warn everybody, all of our uh, Spanish, some of these people don't speak English, some of the Maltese uh, the people on Malta speak English, but Sardinia, they speak a different form of Italian than you would see in Rome. But what all these things have together is why would you go to Peru, then would you go to Bolivia, mm -hmm. then would you go to Sardinia, mm -hmm. then would you go to Malta, back to Rome, back to Sardinia. What is the central theme? And it's a cover-up of giants. Derek, we interviewed people in their 80s and 90s. And it didn't matter if they were in Malta, didn't matter if they were on Lake, T Lake uh, oh, what is it, Titicaca, mm -hmm. didn't matter if it was in Sardinia, didn't matter anybody associated with ancient architecture from, let's say, 70 years ago. Uh, they all would, excuse me, tell the same story of digging up the bones of giants, and some of them are big. What we found is basically prior to the flood of Noah, up to 36 feet tall and higher the average length of giants. When you go after the flood of Noah, you get into King Og and you get into David and David, or excuse me, David uh, slaying Goliath and Goliath's brothers. You know, and David was kind of a very neat guy. First guy mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up and shake his hand uh -huh. in glory because he wasn't only ready to take down Goliath, okay? Yeah. He was ready to take down Goliath's brothers. That's why he brought the five stones. You got yeah, it. Yeah. And people say, why, sm why five smooth stones? Better trajectory, you know? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is that what a man of God after his, his, you know, I mean, here's a guy, he's a kid, he can't wear the armor. Now, why is this significant? Because I think this is the time of David's sling. I believe this is Project David Sling. I just made that up on the spot, but it sounds good. We'll use it. Yeah, okay. we'll use it. So Project David Sling. And, you know, there are people that will argue over even Pember's book that Tom, you know, republished. Uh, and one of the, mo I think this is, is the most, ladies and gentlemen, that book, the John Pember collection, uh, available from Skywatch, is, in my opinion, the single 
most important thing for Christians to read to get a handle on the foundation of what we're talking about. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm serious, you know. Uh, it's that important. So thank you for doing that. Oh, well, actually, you were the one that inspired me to do that. We were, years ago, we're doing one of the radio shows that Quayle and I have done for so many years. And we both brought up the fact that probably one of the greatest masterpieces ever written, and it had been out of print for the longest time. In fact, you paid a, an enormous amount of money oh, yeah. to buy an old used copy of one, right? Uh, so we put it back into print. Uh, Earth's earliest stages. stages right. And then later we published the bigger volume, which is the P G.H. Permanent And it's collection. remarkable that a man 150 200 years ago, 150 years ago, yeah. it was the late 19th century, right. was writing yeah. about the things that we're talking about, about here today, today. Right. and we're supposed to be cutting edge. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, and I, the resurrection of the ancient gods is a central theme coming through all of our studies. Hmm. In other words, they're coming back, right. and uh, Jesus said men's hearts would fail them for fear of looking after those things coming up on the earth. You know, everybody says there's war in heaven. They quote the scripture in the book of Revelation. But this, this underground subterranean world that exists right now, and again, I don't believe there are any coincidences. I believe God inter, uh, what, intersperses the truth at the moment that he wants to reveal it. In True Legends, uh, the, you know, the series, the second DVD, this will be a two D, uh, CD, you know, we have the... Two disc set. Two disc set, thank yep. you. I got to slow down. Slow down. <laughs> this is a two death set. But the point is, is that we have the only known on record interview with the pilot that flew the dead giant in 2005 out of Bagram Air Force Base that had killed an entire special force, uh, special operations team. And then they had to bring in what's called the ultra black guys to take out the giant. Well, let me fast forward now. Now, this is, this is, okay, we, we, just have, we just have about a minute left. So. Okay, I'll give it in a minute <clears throat> and we can pick it up. Tom, this pilot 10 years later is sitting in a bar in New Mexico and, you know, he named the bar, it's not important. And a Native American medicine man comes up to him and says, may I sing for you? And he starts singing and he's doing, a, I won't even try and do Navajo and basically said, you have seen giants. The earth swallowed them up. The earth is now getting ready to divulge them. Hmm. Hmm. True Legends, The Unholy Sea. This is a two-disc set, the second entry in the True Legends documentary series from Steve Quayle and Timothy Alberino, Gen 6 Productions. We want to make this available to you. The list price on this is uh, $34.95, but when you purchase that, the groundbreaking book by Tom Horn and Chris Putnam, Exo Vaticana, which covers much of the same ground. They dovetail and reinforce one another. You find both of those, $34.95, True Legends, The Unholy Sea, and Exo Vaticana at the Skywatch TV store online at skywatchtvstore.com. Tom Horn, Steve Quayle, we'll continue this discussion. Thank you, Derek. We thank you for watching. Mr. Horn. As we keep watch, I'm Derek Gilbert, and this is Skywatch TV. Save nearly half off the cover price when you subscribe now to the brand new Skywatch TV magazine. For a limited time, from April 24th through June 24th, 60 days only, a five-year subscription to Skywatch TV magazine is just $99. That's more than $75 off the cover price, which is like getting two years for free. Exclusive content, articles on prophecy, discovery and the supernatural from Tom Horn, Chris Putnam, Josh Peck, science updates from Sharon K. Gilbert, geopolitics from yours truly, and guest writers like Pulitzer Prize nominated journalist Troy Anderson, renowned Bible scholar Dr. Michael Heiser, Pentagon advisor Lieutenant Colonel Bob McGinnis, and more. But there is more. As an early subscriber, you'll be the first to get this new book from Defender Publishing. I predict what 12 global experts believe you'll see by 2025. This is a $20 value and includes best-selling authors like Joel Richardson, Mark Biltz, Carl Gallops, Tom Horn, Paul McGuire, and more. Find out what they think about the coming war between ISIS and the Vatican, the future of the Temple Mount, and the Ark of the Covenant a worldwide manifestation of angels, and the coming age of human hybrids. And We'll also add this DVD, the best of Skywatch TV 2015, a $25 value, including our most compelling interviews from last year, including Chuck Missler, Steve Quayle, the discussion of the Georgia Guidestones with Chris Pinto, and more. All of this together worth more than $200, yours now for just $99, but only through June 24th. Subscribe now, Skywatch TV Magazine. Just call the number on your screen or log on to skywatchtvstore.com.